who people who the prices was up, gas prices was still low when people had a problem with you. <laughs> it was still two dollars a gallon. But inflation and change, I need tax on my issue. What's up, Aunt Stewart? I'm glad you own. I need tax on my issue. Mm, you getting deep. Take a real one and say, bring the stuff back that I fumbled. <laughs> that take a real one. All right, I'm going to pray and let's get going because I, I, I don't want to be before you long. Lord, we thank you for this opportunity to get before the people. We know that we're called for a, a time such as this. So we have to be in place. When it's our time block, we have to be in place because this is the time that we're called for. Some of some of these people have been hidden for a season. But now when, they, when, when that season comes for you to show them off and show their facets to the world like a diamond, you will expose them to the proper light. So we thank you for the opportunity to get out of the way so we can hear right from you amen yeah i was wrestling with this this morning i was wrestling with this this morning i wasn't wrestling with it it just hit me this morning as i was driving um and god it, it took me back to this scripture you know like i say people some people don't like when i get scripture heavy some people do but that's just my reference point for these parables and God said to Joshua, he said, everywhere your foot tread is going to be yours. Okay. And God said, well, if you want to speak to people about speeding up their manifestation, let's start with this scripture. When I say everywhere your foot tread of will be yours, I'm, I'm activating a promise. But what I'm saying in, 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 in your foot tread of shall be yours I'm actually pointing to the process of de of delivering the miracle. See, when we heard that scripture and they said, everywhere your foot treadeth is going to be yours, boy, we shot it. We ran through the church. We ran up and down. But I don't think we dug into that deep enough because to tread somewhere means, see, you ever had a little cut that you and your friends used to hit? And you didn't, you and your friends didn't hit that cut behind the house so many years that you didn't treaded you a little line through there. And Mr. Johnson mad say, Mr. Johnson don't want you walking through his yard because y'all putting a line right through there where y'all walk to get to the candy store. Every time y'all come through there, that's what it means to tread. And and God said, break people thought process when I say everywhere your foot treaded when I'm talking about taking dominion over your stuff. In order for your foot to tread somewhere, you got to go over there again and again. <laughs> See, some of y'all say, I want my stuff, and you only went over there one time. Some of y'all trying to claim lands that you only just visited. Some of y'all trying to claim lands that you only just saw in a picture. But when God is asking you to tread a line in your mind back to that land, back to that process, back to that path. Because the way to the way to speed up your manifestation, one of the ways, is through process. See, there's a reason why in every religion, every, this not even about being religious, but there's a reason why with every corporation, with every religion, with every business, there's a process. Because God is a God of process. And some of us are saying, I want my stuff, I want my stuff, but you don't have the process in place to ensure it down from heaven. You don't got the process in place to pull it down from the spiritual realm. I say this all the time. Some of y'all is praying for y'all stuff, but God don't even know where to find you at. Because one day you go to, you pray at, at two o'clock then another day you pray or, and then you go a week and not pray and then you go two weeks without meditating and then you go it's, and god saying how can i give you your stuff how can i give you your manifestation when you haven't treaded the path you haven't even treaded the path that it takes to get the stuff that you want the reason that line is there to the candy lady house it's because we went to the candy lady house every day after school. 
The reason that line is there to the store is because we went to that store every day after school. The reason I know what God needs for me is because I go to prayer every day when I, you know what I'm saying? I, I, it's every day. And so I've treaded that path. And we heard that said, and it said, well, everywhere your foot treadeth, then it's going to be yours. And people told the church up. They told the church to pieces. What's up, high play? When in fact it's like, mm, you just can't visit and it be yours. Because some of these places that you treading, ooh, this is gonna hurt. Some of these places that you treading, it's already occupied. How it looks, somebody coming over and saying, "Well, I came over here. This mine." I, now, if you want to take my house, you got to come over here every day. <laughs> and when you come over here, it's a fight. You're looking for manifestations on stuff you don't practice every day. So, number one, you want to speed up your manifestation. Make sure that you got a practiced, processed time that you're conversating with God about the things that you're at, that he's asking you to do and what you're expecting. I had to I had to I had to stop myself from whoever you believe in because uh, people hate when I say that, but whoever you believe in. There has to be a time. I this is this this going to hurt, but this is why in certain Islamic religions it's, it, they they pray at a certain time and date. What what that's saying? That's an indicator of process. That's an indicator of if I want to be blessed, then there's a process to it. When God want to be blessed, He said, "Go get the bread, bring it over here, break it on the Sabbath. We don't do this on this day. We do that." And he, 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 I'm giving you process so I can give you the manifestations. I'm giving you. Pro I can't even give you a message about what step to make. Because you're not in your process of prayer. You're not in your process of meditation. You letting the storms and wind of life just carry you to and fro. It's a process. Number two, how do you speed up the manifestations? I want my stuff and I want it a little bit faster than where it's going. to people Every, everybody that's family ain't blood and everybody that's blood ain't family I don't know why I feel the need to see, they say that who is this Anyway, people, okay? There's no, every blessing that we've ever received came on the backs of a person. So you have to have your people relationships tight. And it may not be your family. That's a good one, uh, Heather. Pick your team. Because, see, there was a team that Moses picked and there was a team that Joshua picked. <laughs> and let me tell you, the team that Moses picked the first time, they weren't the right ones sometimes. So it ain't the right ones. I got to go back and I got to formulate the team. I, I was talking to somebody yesterday and it was a huge deal this man was in. It was a huge deal. Multi-million dollars, multi-million dollars. And he, and he, he, was, he, was, he was upset about this deal. And he said he, he didn't do it because... He said, um, I could take it on, but I don't got the people. I don't got the infrastructure. I need I need one or two more pieces. Because in order to hold that, I need I can't take that weight on my own. Sometimes the people is your family, your kids, your wife, your husband. But in order to increase the manifestations, you got to get your people right in place. You also got to get your models. People hate that I say models, but you also got to get your people that you're going to model your behavior after. 
See, here's the thing. The things that you're trying to achieve and that you're trying to manifest in a lot of cases are things that you don't have. A lot of times it's the things that you don't have is nobody taught you how to get them. So in order for to, to get them, you got to get around the people that got them so they can teach you. They can tell you. They can show you. But you thinking, if I just keep on praying to God and me and God tight, then I don't got to worry about the people. He's going to send the right people. Yeah, he's going to send them, but we're talking about your foot treading. That means you got to take action. I got a cousin, man. And my cousin ain't always been on the right side of the law. Hell, I ain't always been on the right side of the law. Let's be, let's keep it funky in this place. <laughs> and because of, you know, the times that he wasn't on the right side of the law, he developed a habit of, of being paranoid about the phones. So when we on the phone, he ain't going to say, but so much. He's only going to say, it, like, if I say, okay, uh, uh, well, I'm going to come over there and see you. If he say I'm somewhere, hey, I'm going to come over there and see you. He ain't going to give me the address. This is this is how God do us. I say, well, where you at, cuz? I'm on the south. All right, so what I do, this is how this is how we got to handle God. This is how I handle my cousin. <laughs> he, he, say, he say, I'm on the south. That basically means I'm on the south side of town. It's about 13 different apartments on the south side of town, where it, many places he could be. But what I do, I just get in the car and head towards the south. And when I'm in the area, I say, man, I'm on the south. Where you at? He say, uh, go to, do you see that BP? I say, yeah. He say, go to that BP and call me back. Uh, I say, all right. I go. I park in the BP. When I get to the BP, I call him. Man, I'm at the BP. Where you at? I oh, mean, it's this house right here. Just walk straight through. He ain't going to never give me that. See, this is how God do us. He's depending on us to depend on him. He's depending on us to follow the last thing that he said. If he said, mm, I need you to go over there and start working on that, and you start working on that, you stay over there and work on that until you get new instructions. We're speeding up our manifestation. But sometimes... When God tell you to do something and you say, where you at? You want God to give you the exact address. And God don't move like that. Like I always say, the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. So he only going to give you one step at a time. He give you a picture <laughs> and one step. So that's why you got to have process so you can know what he's saying. He only give you a picture and one step. Some of y'all got a picture or something, and the one step is is going to school. Y'all got a picture of, this, of something, and your one step is getting your tax ID number. Y'all, Some of y'all got a picture or something, and your one step is getting your microphone and your camera. But your job is to listen to that one step. There's been times in my life where the one step he gave me was just go, just meditate and pray, make sure you work out. I'm like, what? Every time I went my prayer, I'm like, God, what should I do? What should I do? Well, I just meditate, pray, make sure you work out. It made me feel like a deadbeat. But in that prayer and meditation time, that's when he gave me something else to do. And I'm going back to people right quick because some of y'all, some of y'all could be a lot further along if you help somebody. See, when you ain't got nothing to give, sometimes it's best to get up under somebody and say, well, I'm going to help your vision. I'm all over the place, but the ones that get it, get it, and the ones that don't, don't. <laughs> we got people. We got process. And we got one more thing, the promises. This is what I need help with. This is how I got to get better with. The promises that are in the Bible. Because 
the promises are what's going to keep you in the tough times. And he was telling Joshua, he was like, hey, just like I was with Moses, I'm going to be with you. That's a promise. And 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 I and I've done this exercise before, and if you're new to the page, you should do it again. You need to write your resume down. And when I say a resume, I ain't talking about just your job stuff. I'm talking about your spiritual resume, all the things you overcome. I was doing a meditation this morning, and she asked us to go all the way back to your childhood, far as you can remember, all the things that you have overcome. Because your resume is your promise. I repeat, your resume is your promise. As it was before. That's why <laughs> that's why that song say if he did it before you do it. That's your promise. Just like I was with Moses, just like I was with Noah, just like I was with Job, just like I was with da da da. Just like I was all in places, I'm 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 right here with you on your way to your promised land. But you got to get your people in place. You got to get your process in place. You got to remember the promises. All right, peace, folks.